Hello everyone, welcome to our tech tutorial channel. In today's video, we're going to cover the SCP command, that secure copy a powerful tool you can use to securely copy files from a Windows machine to a remote server. Let's get started. This is my remote Linux machine, and I want to transfer some files to the root folder. These are the only two files on the root folder. First, let's confirm if we already have SCP installed. Open your Windows PowerShell and simply type SCP. If you get a response saying usage, SCP, that means it's already installed. Let me arrange the windows side by side so we can easily see what I will be doing in both windows. I want to copy a file from the desktop to the remote server, so let me change the directory to the desktop folder. Use the following command to list the files in the folder, so I will transfer the command.txt file to the remote Linux server. For a detailed explanation of the SCP command syntax and its options check out our article. The link is in the video description. So here I have typed SCP then the file name. Since I'm already in the desktop directory there is no need for me to type the file path or the complete path where the file is. You have to know your username that is your username on the remote server. Even the IP address or host name of the remote server and directory that is the path where you want to copy the file to on the remote server. So my username on the remote server is root, then the IP address. I want to copy the file to the root directory which currently has only two files. Press enter. Once you hit enter, you'll be prompted for your password on the remote server. Type it in and hit enter again. And that's it. You should see a response indicating that your file was successfully copied. Let us verify that the file has been transferred. And there we have it. The file was safely copied over to our remote server. If you want to copy a number of files at the same time, just separate the file names in the command. If you have multiple files and they're in the same directory, you could also use a wildcard character to transfer them all at once if they have the same file extension. Let us now confirm if the files have been transferred successfully. Use the ls command to list the files. Let us now learn how to copy an entire folder from our local Windows 11 machine to a remote server. I have a folder named Books that I want to copy to my remote server. Add option R if you want to copy a folder. To copy a directory or a folder, we need to use the R option which stands for recursive, allowing us to copy all the files and subdirectories in the folder we want to transfer. I won't transfer the folder now because it is quite large and it will take some time to complete. Let us now do it in reverse. We're going to securely copy a file from a remote server to our local Windows 11 machine. I will copy the update.txt file from the remote machine to the Windows 11 local machine. Now, we're copying from a remote server to our local machine, so we'll specify the remote files path after the host name, and then we'll put our local directory path. I have put a dot at the end of the command because I'm already in the local folder desktop. If I was not I would have put the path to the local folder where I want to copy the file. I've entered the wrong password let me try again. The file has been transferred successfully let us confirm. And that's how you use the SCP command to copy a file from a Windows 11 machine to a remote server. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below.
Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.